<laughs> Not used to the key. All right. <laughs> a little, a little bit of trouble there to start with. Nothing we can't handle. All right, guys, this is the bike we've been waiting for. Today, I, I, I showed up first thing to, to ride motorcycles this morning at the uh, Indian Demo event here at uh, Elk Grove Power Sports here in Elk Grove, California. And uh, finally got on it. Uh, when I first got here, the, the battery was dead, even though it had only been taken out once. And uh, they got a new battery in, made sure it was charged, and away we go on the 2022 Indian Scout Rogue. Oh, okay, so uh, earlier we rode the, the, the Chief Bobber, the Chief Dark Horse Bobber, and it had a similar riding position, uh, had the mini apes, uh, mini ape hangers, um, and uh, similar riding position with your feet forward, uh, with the forward controls. Uh, but I will say this bike has a more comfortable riding position. I don't know if it's because these bars, instead of going kind of straight up, these have been adjusted to become back more to, to you. But this feels like a more comfortable riding position. Uh, I love the look, look of this motorcycle. As soon as I saw it released, uh, reminded me a bit of uh, <clears throat> of the of kind of like a lowrider S mixed with like a Sportster, um, but definitely has a sportier feel than the lowrider S. And even though we've got forward controls here, uh, we do have a 29 degree lean angle on this bike. Yeah. And that, that feels really nice there in a turn. Uh, before we get started though, let's go over some of the controls. Uh, we've got on the right side here, it's just real simple. We got your uh, power on and off switch and then ignition underneath. And then on the left hand, hand side here, we have uh, your light controls for brights and standard, uh, standard beams on. We're gonna get out in front of this. Uh, and right underneath uh, your, your light controls, you've got uh, your turn signal, and then at the very bottom, you've got your horn. Uh, you can see up here where you could put, uh, I think, mirrors mounted up here on top, but uh, here, standard, I think, on the S Scout Rogue, you have these bar end uh, mirrors that go underneath. And to me, it's just a cooler, cleaner look. You know, when you've got hangers already on a motorcycle, you don't want to go up even further. At least in my book, I think this is a great look. And of course, this this uh, this mini windscreen or speed screen that Harley likes to call it. I'm not sure what they call it on the rope, but this front fairing that gives it a really cool look. Uh, it's all blacked out, and one of the coolest looking motorcycles I think that you can buy. Uh, what I will say about this this uh, windscreen here in front uh, is that we're going to try and not turn the signals off. See if they self cancel. I kind of doubt it. But what I will say is that instead of the wind hitting you right in the chest, it's blowing the wind away from me. So I don't get it so much in the chest, but what I am getting a little bit, and this is just to know, it's not really bothering me, but in the video, you can probably hear how the wind is hitting me in the face. So it's gonna make for more wind noise, but uh, but like, it's definitely a more comfortable uh, ride because we're not getting pummeled by the wind so much. Yeah, kind of a quiet exhaust. Uh, very uh, confidently maneuverable here in this, this kind of wide sweeping turn. We're going about 50 miles an hour. And uh, it has a very sporty feel. It's not super torquey though in the throttle. Uh, I do feel like uh, you could give it a you can give it a good twist and it's not going to surge you too uh, crazily forward. Uh, we have an all analog, de uh, not all analog, sorry, excuse me, a uh, hybrid, not hybrid, a, a dual analog slash digital screen here. We've got uh, your speed up in the analog range. I'm not sure why the speed range goes all the way to 200 miles an hour. I'm guessing this bike tops out somewhere around 124, 125 miles an hour. Uh, you got your gear, uh, your mileage, and then your time down here at the bottom. I guess you can toggle through this screen here with this trigger up here on the, on the right. Um, you can get your RPM. Now let's leave it on RPM. I like that. Let's get a little digital tack there. Get into fourth gear. Woo hoo! Yeah. Yeah, and even in, even up in the higher uh, rev range, you're still getting quite a bit of torque. 
I'll have those uh, horsepower and torque numbers for you if they're available here on the screen. But it's not overwhelming. That power isn't overwhelming. Uh, like, uh, like it might be like in a sportier cruiser, like uh, the Sportster S. Um, even in the Chief, man, when you put that thing in a sport mode and you, you give it a good twist on the throttle in sport mode, you know, you got quite a bit more power in the in the Chief, but here in the uh, the Scout range, oh, we've got the numbers right here. We've got 100 horsepower and 72 feet-pounds of torque. Uh, Six-speed transmission, and uh, yeah, just a comfortable ride. This seat, it feels softer than the one that comes on the, on the Chief. Uh, I don't feel like it's so soft that I'm going to hit the bottom of that pan, but that's, but that's to be to be determined on a longer ride. Uh, what I will say, though, is that uh, it, it holds me firmly in place. The material is a nice, uh, it's like leatherette, not necessarily genuine leather uh, material, but it, the material's grippy on my on my, pant, my jeans. Um, but it's also, uh, it's also got kind of that, that cup shape <laughs> that kind of holds your butt there in place. Uh, so when you're in a riding upright riding position like this, uh, you can feel confident when you you get on that throttle uh, and surge you forward. Well, let's take this this uh, roundabout uh, route as opposed to this straight one. Uh, this seat height is really low. I want to say it's sub uh, 20 27 inches even, and uh, feet both plant, firmly planted on the ground at a stop. Uh, Slow speed maneuvering here. I was less than slow speed, but but getting into these these turns at slower speeds, this bike feels really confident in these turns. Uh, and yeah, I nothing nothing but good things to say so far about the Scout Rogue. Now I've ridden the Scout Bobber. I've ridden the standard Scout. Uh, I've ridden the Scout Bobber 20. I think is what it was. Uh, this bike has you know, all the similar specifications that those other Scout models do. Um, but again, I just love the look of this bike. You're going to pay a little bit more just for a look. Uh, it does come standard without ABS. I don't know if this model has ABS or not. Uh, it does not say that it does. So at least on the sticker here. So no ABS on this model, but yet the brakes feel nice and firm. Uh, you know, it's not going to stop you from getting into a skid. Uh, but again, this, because you know this bike isn't super sporty, I wouldn't be too worried uh, about uh, making hard stops and and you know uh, too worried about not having the ABS. It's not ABS isn't something that uh, is going to come or doesn't tend to come super stand super standard uh, weird term to use. But you know ABS on a, on a cruiser like this, you know, is a nice thing to have. But I don't think it's. I, I've ridden Sportsters for years. Uh, without any ABS and I've never had any issues uh, so I I'm assuming you're gonna be okay here on the Rogue uh, but ABS is a nice feature you're just gonna pay a little bit more um, for the ABS models uh, as well as the other several different colors that this bike comes in all right so yeah in slow speed very confident I this bike is very well balanced uh, you know, for a bike that's super low to the ground, you're never gonna feel ever, you're you're never gonna feel like you're top heavy or anything, um, and so you can just feel really confident riding this bike around. I'm gonna try and get ahead here. <laughs> we are in Northern California here, where lane splitting is legal, and if you look down here at my feet. I've got, I mean, I could bend my knees and get two good flat feet on the ground. I'm not, kind of on a, a weird incline here. Still, there's no problem because the, the seat height here is so low. That this bike performs really well. The only thing I would say is that even with a low uh, lean angle, like 29 degrees on both sides, the way that these, these, uh, these uh, pegs these riding pegs are situated is that my heel drops uh, below the peg so you're gonna scrape a heel before you scrape a peg I think <laughs> maybe not I could be wrong oh keep clear let's keep it clear oh see so we didn't quite get into a skid there even though uh, I, I slammed on the brakes that was a nice brake check there for me uh, I'm just trying to stay safe and keep this intersection clear like it asked for um, but yeah uh, I don't think this bike has ABS. There's nothing to indicate it here on the screen either. So, uh, oh, there is an ABS light. Okay, I was wrong. So I bet ABS kicked in there on that stop. 
because I think that because of how hard I stopped there, I probably would have uh, gone into just a, maybe just a, a little skid there at the end. I, I did feel the brakes uh, feel like they wanted to lock up and they didn't and it could have been ABS uh, engaging there. So ABS is optional on the Scout Rogue and something, again, that's going to be your, your preference. Uh, but this model does have it and it works well. I can attest that now. <laughs> All right, so I'm at five foot six. I have about a 30 inch inseam and my arms are about 70 inches long. And this bike, I mean, just feels like it fits me. Um, my legs here, as opposed to when I was on the, the, the Indian Scout, excuse me, the Indian Chief, my leg was hitting the air cleaner and it was kind of in an awkward position. But on the Scout here, this is built what feels more like for someone my size. And my knees can actually hug the tank. Um, you know, as a, as a, cruiser rider I, I don't find myself hugging the tank with my knees very often but what i found on the on the chief was that it was in my knees ended up in an awkward spot when i wanted to tuck them in and it's not so here on the uh the scout rogue it's in a nice in a nice spot here uh where they're hugging the tank and let's just not put my feet down here oh yeah very very well balanced bike again when you're so low to the ground with the low center of gravity on a bike like this that's just the way it's going to be Oh yeah. Uh, so we want to talk about heat coming from the engine, maybe from the exhaust. The way that this bike is situated is that the exhaust looks like it goes right by my foot and underneath and not by my leg. So unlike on the Scout model that I wrote, or excuse me, I keep saying Scout. Unlike the Chief model that I wrote earlier where the, the exhaust goes right by your leg, this one did, uh, takes a little detour uh, around the bottom and there is not significant heat coming off even though someone had just ridden this bike before i hopped on it to take it on this ride um so uh that's something significant i i think maybe if if you're not so concerned about getting a bigger bike like the chief with uh, more power you know and it's got the nice digital display if you want something simple uh i think that if you're especially if you're going to be riding in conditions where you're stop and go or in tra traffic and that heat might become an issue uh, this bike, I can tell right now, heat is going to be much less of an issue if maybe not at, if not an issue at all. It does look like you kind of have a beefier uh, uh, heat guard too as well on that exhaust. Um, all, I think the, all the, the lighting on this bike are, are LED. So you got all, all LED lighting, which is something that sh should have been coming standard on bikes for a long time. Uh, but uh, no different on this bike. So. I mean, we're go coming here to the end of the ride. This is a really short test ride. But what I can say about the, the Scout Rogue is that there's nothing I have to complain about this motorcycle. Uh, it definitely would be on a short list if I was looking at getting a, a bike. This bike has about 1,100, uh, 33 cc's, I think, is how big the, this V-twin engine is. Um, yeah, this, this bike is going to make you happy for a while. It looks great. It feels great. You might want to slap an exhaust. Kind of the, the, the long exhaust on the Scouts kind of kind of aren't the, my favorite so that's something i would change as well but guys if you have any questions about the scout road make sure you leave those in the comments i'll do my best to answer them if you found this video helpful at all or you liked it make sure you hit that thumbs up down there which is the like button and if you haven't already smash that subscribe button big thanks to elk grove power sports today for this test ride demo guys if you're out there riding please be safe be kind to one another my name is eric i'm that one guy and i am out. I'm going to try and put this bike right in between here. Alright, where's the kickstand here? Kickstand's kind of back. Nice solid feel to that kickstand. Another company doesn't necessarily have that solid feel to their kickstands.